You could be taking some very important steps in your life this month, Cancer. As I was connecting with your energy, I actually had a vision of you walking down a corridor. It was very, very tall and very long. I couldn't actually see what was on the other side, but between the archways, there was this interstellar or cosmic background, and it just felt very otherworldly, very mysterious. And as you were moving forward, it was very bold, and it was very much like answering a higher calling or a spiritual calling. And so I feel like some of you are stepping up into your soul mission or your life purpose this month. Um, there is something that is calling you into action or summoning you. And I think it's very important that you follow your intuition this month. You really pay attention to what it is that excites you, but also kind of scares you a little bit because it was intimidating. But at the same time, it felt like you were coming home. And I even want to say that there was this energy or these entities that wanted to welcome you back. Um, so very, very interesting. I'm, I'm super curious to see what comes in with the tarot here. But I almost get the sense of you coming home to yourself or you finding home in a very unexpected place or way. I have just a touch of housekeeping before we get too far in today's video. Um, we are in Virgo season after all. For those of you who are returning to this channel, it's great to see you again. Welcome back. I'm actually uploading a lot more on my other social media accounts, and honestly, by my own admission, I've been pretty vacant online for a while. Um, a big irony of my life is I'm actually not a huge social media person at all. Um, it's just been a wonderful vehicle to do this work, and I would really appreciate anyone who is on these other platforms to also follow me on there as well. I'm actually really enjoying the shorter format. It feels more engaging, and it helps me put out information more quickly. Um, so definitely consider following me there. You can find all of my links for social media accounts in the description of this video, alongside links for personal readings and distance Reiki sessions. For those of you who are new to this channel, hello, welcome. My name is Michael and I utilize tarot and tropical astrology to intuit monthly forecasts for your zodiac sign. Be sure to hit like, subscribe, and the bell notification so you can always stay up to date with what's in the cards for you. So I hadn't even finished shuffling yet for you, Cancer, and I already got some pretty intense cards with the Tower and the Ten of Swords showing up in the past. So I do feel like there has been some pretty significant endings or changes, maybe even ones that have felt abrupt or just very destabilizing. We have been in Mercury retrograde over the past month. We've also had Venus retrograde. And we actually have both of these planets moving direct in September. But I really feel like something just, you know, really dramatic has happened to you and it feels like there was a major ending. What was this ending for Cancer? Show us clearly, please. What was the t this tower about? Maybe there is a relationship that was unreciprocated with the Page of Cups. This actually showed up in reverse, which makes me feel like someone didn't end up sharing feelings or, um, you know, something didn't go the way you had hoped or wanted it to go. Um, it feels like there was just this very big awakening that had come from some sort of heartache, uh, maybe even a separation. There have been a lot of relationships that have ended over the past month because we have had Venus retrograde. Um, so that's something that's been very, very common. Um, what else do we have here? Nine of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you've been ruminating over something that ended or didn't even get to be. And already going back to the energy from the beginning, it's like... In a weird way, like a new lease on life. Where, yes, things didn't go the way I wanted them to. And I'm just going to throw caution to the wind and, and do what I want to do. I 
I definitely feel like something destabilized you for a while, Cancer, with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And, you know, we did end off September with Uranus going retrograde. This happened on the 28th. Maybe there was even something that happened with a friendship because Taurus energy represents your 11th house of community, friendship, social support. Um or really just the way you receive support from the universe at large. And it feels like you were supported from the universe by having an unsupportive person pulled out of your life very suddenly. And it feels like this might have been a person who was trying... You might have felt like you were finally breaking out of your shell a little bit with the Page of Swords and Four of Swords in reverse. You were finally starting to talk to people or connect with people again. Especially an Earth sign. Capricorn could also be Taurus or Virgo. Or Taurus again um, with the Hierophant in reverse. Something has been very unexpected. <sighs> the world. I feel like this card's been coming out a lot this month already. Um, the world with the nine of pentacles in reverse. This actually came up for Scorpio as well. I just did their reading. Um, and honestly, it feels like a very similar message. It's like you might have been stuck in a place that felt familiar or comfortable, but was no longer serving you. And you're ready for something more. I feel like you're ready for something more than another person that you cared for, was ready for, or even wanted. Yeah, you're ready for a new beginning. I, I was kind of talking about this, too. Um, I really feel like, Cancer, there is just something that did not go your way. I almost feel like there was a, a crisis of faith. And it's almost like you spent so much energy trying to be careful, trying to not get hurt, and you got hurt anyway. But instead of, of allowing that to shut you down more, Cancer, it feels like letting yourself scrape your knees a bit. Not being afraid of getting hurt or feeling pain. Some of you have been afraid to embrace your spiritual purpose because you are afraid of the rejection that could come from your family or loved ones. We have the Knight of Cups here as well. Maybe there's a new connection, a new relationship coming in. Or maybe this is just you, <coughs> excuse me, maybe this is just you in your flow. And I knew this Knight of Wands was going to come out right when I was talking about scraping your knees, because it's like this Knight of Wands understands that 
yes, you could scrape your knees when you're learning new tricks or when you're doing something that you love, but it's all part of the fun. I feel like, okay, I, I think I'm starting to understand what all of this means. I'm, I'm putting all of this together. So there's a lot of focus at the end of this month or really throughout this month um, with home, family, your childhood conditioning, your traditions that you grew up with. Um, and it's like you've been doing what your family wanted to do or you've been afraid to rock the boat in some way, especially with Mars in the sign of Libra, there could be some sort of conflict or tension with family. Um, that might even be the falling out that you are having, because I do feel like some of you had a falling out either in August or the beginning of September. And there's also this freedom. Maybe some of you came out of the closet, like that kind of energy or that kind of situation. Um, and you're embracing who you really are, what your heart really wants. And you're finding your true home in that is what I'm also getting, remembering the corridor at the beginning. Um, you're finding home in an unexpected place. your energy with the Queen of Cups here, listening to your intuition, also being the carer, the nurturer, the intuitive. Four of Cups in reverse. Someone was trying to hand you something that wasn't meant for you or like you kept taking what other people were giving you and it wasn't actually the thing that was working or meant for you. Hold on. I really feel like this four of cups is different. I feel like you're approaching your life in a very different way, in a way that you've been afraid to approach it. You're exploring new options, new possibilities, especially in regards to love and relationships. Um, they may be very non-traditional. for cancer what else do we have for cancer show us clearly please wheel of fortune major shifts major endings to cycles you're breaking um intergenerational cycles and patterns and maybe maybe it's not even an expectation cancer that you are going up against it is intergenerational trauma or karma And it feels like for some reason there are others either in your family or at least family that you have internalized, your internal family system. Um, that is not responding well to this change. but you're basically breaking a curse in your family by doing something radically different.
because you're going against tradition with the Hierophant in reverse. This could also be something involving marriage as well. Maybe you were going to marry someone or you thought you'd be married and you aren't. And you are now breaking unhealthy or dysfunctional patterns in relationships, redefining roles to match who you are. And I mean, this also kind of makes sense because we do have a Libra eclipse in October. So there could be a lot of setting the stage. We actually have two eclipses in October. So I feel like September in general, we have Venus and Mercury going direct after they've been retrograde through a good portion of August. And September kind of feels like a month where we're picking up the pace again. Things are starting to move along again, where life has been very disrupted. There's been a lot of introspection, a lot of um, delays or breakdowns. Things are changing, things are moving forward, and even though eclipses can also feel disruptive, in October it's different because it's more of a catapult. There's more momentum, there's more action that is happening. Eight of Swords. Yeah, this feels like a lot of you are changing your minds or thought patterns. You're realizing you're not as stuck as you thought you were, or you're recognizing your self-imposed limitations or beliefs. And you are cutting yourself free from something that is very imprisoning to you, whether that is your lifestyle, maybe working a nine to five, whether that's the, the way you've been taught relationships need to be or should be, um, whatever it is that has felt like an obligation to you or a confinement to you is something that you are breaking free from. And this does feel like it's very much about beliefs. It feels like it's about tradition. Maybe it's about religion. Um, whatever this is, you are breaking an ancestral cycle or trauma or redefining it. Because the truth is you're not a, really meant to break these things. You're meant to resolve some patterns, but you're still recreating a pattern. And whatever it is that you heal in yourself, whatever it is that you revolutionize for yourself, you revolutionize for your whole lineage. Um, So there's something very deep here. It feels quite ancestral to me, and it feels like you are stepping forward in a way that many of your disincarnate ancestors are actually supporting because you're representing a growth to your family line. I feel like a lot of you are going to be connecting with ancestors. Um, maybe not even your immediate family. Because again, sometimes those relationships are too close. Sometimes there's trauma. Sometimes there's just like a weird dynamic there. Um, but it's almost like the spirit of your ancestors is moving you in a direction to do something radically different with your life. To not be stuck on the same loop that others in your lineage are. Again, your energy with the chariot moving forward, taking aligned action in your life. There is a balance of like light and dark here. Taking the good and leaving the rest behind. Taking what applies or resonates for you and leaving the rest behind. That's important in these readings, by the way. Um, but I feel like you're doing that in your life. 
There's a lot of integration that is coming. Or that you are doing, I should say. I'm kind of curious. I want to pull some oracle cards for you. Nope, I'm actually feeling an animal card. Okay, what is the animal message for Cancer for the month of September? What is the animal message for Cancer? Cobra, waiting for the perfect time to strike meditating and then taking action, you know, not getting stuck in a passive energy, but in an energy of biting and then striking. I feel like some of you are also meant to be a teacher to your family or to people like you. What else do we have for cancer? Show us clearly, please. We have the unicorn, interesting. Piercing through the veil, seeing through illusions. Your third eye is very active this month and maybe there is something spiritual here that you know other people, especially your family, doesn't understand. But I feel like there is a very strong intuitive, psychic or spiritual connection for you this month. And it's helping you pierce through the illusions. It's helping you pierce through the veil. You're seeing things with a lot of clarity And at the same time, it's giving you a lot more questions. It's making you second guess everything. And in a way, it's almost like you're breaking the rails in your life. Or you're choosing your own path. And when I saw that corridor at the beginning, it was very, there wasn't other people. It, was, it felt very empty in a way even though it felt like there was something at the other side that was calling you, it was like, interesting, it, I'm actually hearing now, it's like no one has chosen this path in a very long time. And that's interesting because it felt like you were connecting to some part of your ancestry that maybe was shunned, especially if there was like some sort of religious trauma Put on top of that you'll have to let me know in the comments down below um but i feel like some of you are really tapping into your ancestral magic especially if that's something that's been repressed or like psychic ability is something that's been repressed that's a huge thing for a lot of families um I really feel like there's a lot of gifts you're opening yourself up to again, Cancer. Because it, it's felt very empty to not have that with the hyena, this kind of fake laughter, this fake smile. You know there's more to life than what other people around you are, are saying or believing. I don't even think they believe it. It's almost like when someone laughs because someone else is laughing, like it's not real laughter. It's like there's a lot of that energy that's just like monotonous, almost robotic in a way. And you don't want that anymore. Life is too short to laugh at your own dreams, to not take your dreams seriously. Wow. Well, that was a very interesting reading. I hope that was helpful for some of you. Um, definitely let me know in the comments down below 
how that resonates. That honestly was a very strange reading for me. Um, I, I hope I didn't lose any of you. I mean, I'm sure I, I know I lost some of you, but I, I hope, you know, you stuck it out. Welcome. Thanks for making it to the end. Um, I, I, but I really do feel like there was some messages there that were really important. Like someone wants you to hear these messages. Someone wants you to connect with something to connect to your path. Uh, maybe that's your guides, maybe that's your ancestors, uh, and really follow through on that. Anyways, you can find all of my links in the description of this video for personal readings and distance Reiki sessions. Definitely be sure to hit like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these other videos. I will see you next time. Take care, Cancer, and have a very happy and blessed September.